If you've got yourself a gaming computer, then fantastic. You're already in the elite and you really must be enjoying it. But if you're wanting to expand upon your current setup, maybe improve things slightly or do things a little bit differently, then good news! I've put together this video that goes through pretty much all of my favourite tips, tricks and all of the accessories that I use to make things even better. If you're interested in anything that I talk about, I'll be sure to leave all of my Amazon affiliate links down in the description below where you can check out current pricing. Now if you're in the midst of actually planning a new setup, then my first tip would be to really maximise your space by buying a desk that's really large enough to fit everything you need in it nice and comfortably, as the last thing you want is to be cramped. The desk behind me is a little bit flimsy, as we'd probably expect from Ikea, but it actually fits my oversized speakers and ultra-wide monitor pretty much flawlessly. But if you have a really huge space and you want to make the most of it, you're going to want to look at really specialised desks or in Ikea, the dining table section, to really make the full use of it. Now when we're doing any form of setup upgrade, price is always a factor. We all have different budgets, and sticking to that and getting everything we want is often a little bit tricky, so sometimes we have to find a way of getting more for our money. The clever thing to do is to of course always cut the corners that ultimately can be cut, and lighting is definitely my go-to area to do this. I've been playing around with fancy RGB kits and expensive light bulbs, but realistically, a couple of strips for your PC that are connected to your motherboard should be enough bling for most of our systems, and a cheap manual strip that's wrapped all the way around your desk actually makes the world of difference, all without breaking the bank. But I'd always go for the more practical items first, the ones that will make the difference to your gameplay, rather than just the visuals. Oversized mouse mats like ROG Sheath and some really cool ones from Corsair can actually completely transform your space and it almost sets the setup, as well as allowing you to tuck away those mouse and keyboard cables for a much cleaner look. If I were to prioritise things though in almost an order of effectiveness, I would definitely recommend upgrading your monitor and your mouse as these make the biggest difference. Both of these relate to the core feel of the gameplay with smoother tracking mice and responsive monitors genuinely allowing you to become a better player, so long as your PC can keep up of course. There are so many different mice out there that it is really difficult to pick an outright winner, as we all have different shaped hands and grips, and ultimately some of us want wireless and lightweight, while others are after button heavy, and well, heavy. The best all rounder in my opinion though would have to be the Logitech G703, it's a fully wireless mouse with fantastic performance, but it's roughly £60, which is an absolute steal. In terms of monitors, well, you're after something with a low level of input lag and probably a high refresh rate if you're mainly gaming. I'll leave some of my recommendations below, but you should check out my full buyer's guide that will give you the complete rundown of everything you need to know, including IPS, TN, high refresh rate, 4K, HDR, the works, so check it out down below. And people always ask me how I get these animated wallpapers behind me, and the answer is really, really simple. It's all powered with an application called Wallpaper Engine, and this is available for just a few GP over on Steam. It uses your graphics card to create a little moving animation on static images, with thousands to choose from on the Steam Workshop. If you're often sitting near your computer or you just want to take the outright best images for Instagram, then this is a great way to add that little bit of jazz. Something that I don't really talk about very often when I really should is audio, as it is so important regardless of if you call yourself a bit of an audiophile or whether you just want to hear enemy footsteps in Battle Royale. Now my setup works by using Bowers and Wilkins bookshelf speakers that are attached to a Marantz amplifier and then connected to the computer via optical and this gives a really low level of digital noise to the signal, while unlocking a completely new level of sound quality that PC speakers could really only dream of. But having said this, I love music. I'm pretty much always listening to something whenever I'm working, and I wouldn't say that this is strictly necessary if you're just going to be gaming. As whenever I'm playing with friends, I actually always use a wireless headset, as they're super convenient and they allow me to wander around the house for snacks while still being in the Discord and being able to communicate with everyone. My personal headset of choice is actually Corsair's HS70, as it is simply stunning value for money, with fantastic audio quality and a really high level of comfort. And quite cleverly, I've actually found a really convenient way of swapping between the sources, and it's all thanks to Elgato's Stream Deck Mini. Corsair sent this out for a previous streaming video, 
as it's designed to stop and start streams really seamlessly without ever needing to leave your game. But there's actually so many different ways you can use this in an everyday setup as an everyday item. And toggling between headsets and speakers is just one of them. You can get really smart with this and set up all sorts of quick fire actions to really save yourself some time and ultimately make your experience that little bit better. And so those are my quick tips and tricks to improving a gaming setup. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. We always have our own handy dandy little tips that can help each other out. And this is a community and I'm sure I've missed something. So please let me know your favorites down in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this. And if you have enjoyed it, please hit the like button because it helps out so, so much. You really wouldn't believe. But a massive thank you to you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.